Hey folks and welcome back to BitTech Modding. Today we're going to be making a set of custom spacers and retention screws that are going to be going into a previous mod of mine. So to begin with for this part, I hopped into Autodesk Fusion 360 so that I can model it up. First part we're going to be making is the retention screw itself. That fastens into a 20mm spacer that then fastens into the frame of the chassis. Now the spacer itself holds the window away from the edge of the case. So we're going to have to make sure that the spacing is correct on that. I'm going to have, want to have a consistent thread and have the whole thing nice and concentric. Since this is a turned part, I'm going to be using a lathe to make it. It's really quite an essential tool for this particular kind of work. I started with some 17mm aluminium rod stock. I then mounted it into the lathe, faced the end, and then turned down the outside to 16mm. Next I coated the piece in markout fluid and then marked the points where we're going to be turning down for the retention screw, measured with vernier calipers. Since we're going to be using a screw thread for this part, I turned down the ends to 4mm, 1mm at a time. I faced the far side and then cut a small groove at the base of the thread. The threading tool won't be able to cut all the way down to the shoulder, so the little groove helps prevent the screw from being too big to fit through the hole at the end. I'm cutting an M4 thread with a 0.7mm pitch into this bar. It's worth mentioning that whilst I'm using aluminium, it's really not a very good material for this. I'd much prefer to use mild steel or even a harder steel, but the fact is I didn't have any of that in stock, so I'm using the aluminium. With the thread cut, I attach the parting tool and cut through the piece at the previously marked out line. The spacer is largely the same process, simply turn down the end to 4mm in preparation for a screw thread. However, because the actual threaded piece is quite short on this one, I found it would be easier to use a handheld die and a tapping wrench rather than trying to do it on the lathe. After parting the spacer from the main rod, I mounted it back into the chuck and used a centre drill followed by a 3.5mm twist drill to push 13mm into the piece. To cut the internal threads, I put a 4mm tap into the tailstock chuck and rotated the main lathe chuck by hand. I made sure to use plenty of cutting fluid for this, and doing it by hand allows you to have a good feel for whether or not there's too much strain being put on the tap itself. In order to polish up and finish the pieces, I needed a way of holding them, so I made a quick mounting rod out of some scrap brass, along with a 5mm spacer to simulate the thickness of the acrylic. With the lathe now set up for handwork, I used a graver to round off the end of the retention screw cap. I then finished it off with some sandpaper, working my way from 180 to 320 to 500 grit. Finally, I finished it with a light polish to really bring out the brushed finish. And with the screws finished, it's time to put them into the actual rig itself, see how they work. <laughs> 